Batteries are dead all over the place. Anyway, hello, unboxing. I'm unboxing a thing. Ico, oh shit. Cut some shit open for this. I went into the garbage pail, I'm the best. That's my name. OH1S times two. I want Ico tape. Like, I want to have a company. I don't have a Z Reviews tape. Imagine if I wrapped up all my boxes that I sent back to people, like our yard sale stuff, with tape. Ugh. I didn't see Chewbacca there. Holy shit. She's using that cat mouflage. Um, so I apparently got two of these, good, because one of them will go in the yard sale. Um, yard sale stuff, by the way. The Akko Gems. Hybrid in-ear monitor. Dynamic sound, comfortable to wear. Um, I don't see any jizz. Oh, her hair is made of jizz. Okay, never mind, it's fine. I was worried there'd be no jizz on an Ico product. <laughs> it's not even normal. Normal or natural. Let's give this a look-see. Right, these are clear, I think. Ico Design. We got another box? What the fuck? But I just took it out of a box. Why is it in a box? That's in a box. That's in a box. Ooh, Ico pin. Because everybody wears pins nowadays. What? Put those down for a second. So, Ico really is, they did the neck strap thing, and they're the OH-10s. OH-1s were good, but OH-10s like destroyed everything in the existence. Uh, paper, customer service card, uh, instructions for the inner manual, please don't need instructions. I just, that's all I ask, like my job is not that hard, but when I have to fucking like, read instructions for IMs, Maybe you want to. Oh my god. There's red and blue. It's a thin ass, skinny little wire, but it's a two wire. Can you see this? It's a two wire, two wire weave loop. And then it splits off into a single wire. And that's weird. Okay, the way they did. Never mind. I thought it was separated by red and blue. It's just red and blue the entire way up. I thought one would be red and one would be blue, and that would be my thing. That's my thing. Like I want to, I want to blatantly indicate the left and right wires. So this one's R, and there's blue in it, and this one's L, and there's blue and red in it. So there's blue and red in everything. Damn it! Got my hopes up. Did you see how fast I wrap that, unwrap that? Three and a half millimeter. There's a little bit of jank in this wire. We're gonna see if that comes out. It, it should. Two wires are a little bit more difficult to keep from doing that. They just had to squish it down to this box, so. We have got the Ico sack, which, I don't know if I hate this. We've got, oh no. Oh no, that's a specialty tool. Do you see this? Whenever there's a specialty tool, you gotta prepare your anus. Got two little filter replacements, oval shaped. So I worry about tools, because that means they want me to do things. Let's pull out the Ico pin. One of these days I'm just gonna wear an Ico pin, just, just because I can. This is glued into the box, which caused me to try to lift it up and remove a bunch of these tips. Nice foam, see Ico makes foam tips. I have a whole box of them downstairs and I like them, it's just that I don't, like, they're just, they're hard to get. Why don't I recommend them more, actually, is a good question. So we got these big fat flanges down here, which I don't know whose ears those are for. We have multiple sets of foam, which I appreciate greatly. And then the actual IEMs themselves, which are very, see, usually there's a hole back here and you just push them out. Oh, I put her box back where it used to be. She's very happy now. Are you happy in your box? That was her box and I removed it. Earplug size, 
Ico badge, gemstone, gem to, to PCB unit. I get it. I get it. They're showing it off. Very small and oval shaped tips, which doesn't mean that won't work with normal IM tips. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's just they're being different. These are very, very small. I like how this is like textured aluminum and then it's clear back here so you could see through it partially. So they do kind of look like gems. This one is right and this one is left. Jesus, the L and R on this are like 0.1 font. That is, that is unsatisfactorily small. Get that in there. I usually do this off camera, but I've got nothing better to do. I just spent a good deal of time in my basement cleaning up my tool area. I had to find the hole saw for the video. I just, small video, took for the hole saw video. Hey, more deliveries. Great. Or it's a SWAT team. No, it's deliveries. So yeah, I will give these the burning time they need, and uh, I will probably never put them in this little sack because it doesn't really protect them. It just means they get crushed for like guaranteed. I'll put this little IEM cable here. I don't know what this tool is for. Maybe pulling the, this might be a, oh, this is, a, of course everyone complains about the uh, MMCX connector. So this is a, oh, I guess that's what it is. It's an MMCX popper tool and it, it works really fucking efficiently. Holy Jesus. That, oh, I hope you're okay, baby. I mean, it's an IEM. If you don't test your IEMs at like a six foot drop point, what the fuck are you doing? So, by the way, today's Prime Day and I ordered a 65 inch Sony OLED. Um, but I had so many Amazon points, I didn't have to actually pay for it. I'm sort of happy about that because I was like, fuck, do I want to spend this money? And it's like, hey, you have a fuckload of points. Do you want to use these? And I'm like, fuck yeah. So we'll be unboxing that in the future or the past, depending on what order these come out in. So now I got to put this here and then I gotta put this all oh, these fucking things here and then I gotta put this back in here and then I gotta put this back in here multi bowl multi bowl I'm just gonna put this one straight onto the yard sale shelf in the basement I hope, well, if I broke one, at least I know I have an extra. So that goes there, that goes there. We got, ooh, two packages. Get over here, you bitch. You bitch. Um, I ordered this a while ago. I almost forgot about it. Certain items are just like, yeah, Amazon has them in Paraguay. Uh, MR16 LED bulbs. So these bulbs are the bulbs that are in, I know, LED bulbs, I know. These are the bulbs that I have here in the gallery. And I used them all. I think I used them all. Pretty sure I used them all but I want to use them elsewhere because they are just 12 volt bulbs. And I just built that new computer and I don't like when people tell me what to do or what, to think, what they think looks good and fuck RGB. So I'm gonna mount one of these fuckers, which is a 50 watt equivalent. And I'm gonna mount it in the corner, shining up at the goddamn thing. And it's gonna look amazing. And I have all these extra ones for projects. And if I really wanted to get like fancy, like I could build, those are all 12 volt halogens. I think they're 10 watt and these are how many watt? 50 watt replacement, but how many watts draw? 55 watts. So I could, if it's a lot of effort to go through to have the wattage, just something that doesn't stay on all the time, but I love the fact that that just looks, in fact, you could build a flashlight out of that. You wanna build some really cool, like just flashlights to walk around with that fucking halogen floodlight. This, um, actually is pertinent to the, to the project that is happening behind me is 144 or 12 cases of 12 
small binder clips. And no, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, damn, Princess Pasta has one of those clamping fetishes where you clamp every little fold and flap of your body with a little uh, clamp. Um, that's not true. That's me. Um, I'm just kidding. That's not either of us, hopefully. But if it was either of us, boom, binder clips. And the reason I need so many little baby binder clips is because my projection screen is being built. And the goal is to have 3D printed parts that hold onto the pipe. Those 3D printed parts holding to the pipe are gonna hold onto the aluminum frame that makes it nice and square. And then the actual screen material, this, um, how the fuck do you attach it to that? Because if it was wood, you could just staple it. And you could staple the PVC, or you could binder clip it onto the 3D printed parts if we put the correct 3D printed little thing. So that is the goal. 100, I probably won't need 144 of them all the way around, but it'll be just like pull tension clip, pull tension clip, pull tension clip, and then do it all the way around. And finally, the ADIR office is a lockbox because there's certain items in my garage that I want to keep in my garage, but my garage has really shitty doors. And like, if you want to break into my garage, you can pretty much be like, boom, door. So lockbox for my garage so I can keep like, well, I'm not going to say the things that are in it. I'll let your, let your imagination uh, run wild. Uh, but I need, you need a lockbox at some point. The house has enough storage and safes and shit, but if I'm out there, I'm not gonna, oh Jesus, this fucking, mm. Mm. please fall, please fall down. Why are you so heavy? Oh, oh I got it in baby blue also. And there is a drop slot. So you can just take your used bubble gum and throw it in there and you can have it for later. Let's see. So I got an electronic one because I don't want to carry around keys, although it does come with backup keys. So if the battery dies, I just have to keep them somewhere where I know where they are. But yeah, no, I was like, all right, time for a happy safe box. Let's open. I guess you pop that out. Use the keys for a second. I'm sure it's gonna need batteries. Should I show you programming the code? That sounds like a brilliant idea, as he has. There it is. Oh. oh my god. Comes with a Warriors brand AA batteries, extra heavy duty battery. I may just not use that at all. An extra cover for the keycap. Oh, wait, was that the keycap? Oh, the keycap that I just took off fell on there, so it doesn't come with an extra one. A bunch of key labels, should you want key, key labels. Some shitty tape. And what is in here? Ah, big old leg mount bolts for mounting to a regular wall, but this is going in the garage, so I don't need those. Here's a nice piece of felt, which is probably designed to go on the bottom. Yeah. So the shit falls down, you're good, and here's our battery compartment, which I can, do I want to even install the Warriors battery? Uh, it just, I, it feels icky. Just, you know, I got like Costco branded, you know, those are like rebranded Duracells. I think Panasonic might make their own batteries, or Panasonic buys from someone else. Uh, you know what, I'm actually not going to put these in until I've read the instructions because it might be like, put them in, you have 20 seconds to set your code and it never changes again. So I'm going to leave those there, leave that off. Uh, this could really go on the base, I'm not using this. I'm not going to probably use these. Although, you know what, I might use those. Let's close this. Give that a lock. Yep, locked again. Holy fuck, I just had a realization. If I um if I drop the keys in the in the drop box, they'd be locked in there and I don't have batteries in it to do the code. So don't do that. Don't. It's like the red button from Ren and Stimpy, like you want to hit it so bad. I'm gonna cover this cap again so I don't lose it. Basement, lockbox, Reese's peanut butter cups. We're good? Good. <laughs>